guys, long time, no talk. Today's video is going to be me taking you along with me to Bristol Farms to do some grocery shopping. I have my grocery list right here, plus more things as I see them, I'm sure, but this is stuff that I for sure need. And I need to add bananas on there. Not, uh, do I need to add bananas? Yeah. Bananas are always great to have because you can eat it regularly and then if you don't eat it in time, you can freeze them and use them in smoothies. And I like frozen bananas better than regular bananas in smoothies because it makes it thicker. So I just turned my camera on, I have 12%. So I'm gonna try to charge my camera on the way to Bristol Farms. Hopefully it will charge enough. Otherwise I will have to get the rest of the clips on my phone, so. Yeah, if you want to see what I get at Bristol Farms, then keep on watching. Okay, I just got here and I'm on my phone right now because I'm letting my camera charge as much as, po as, much as possible. But just wanted to give you a little info. Bristol Farms is, I love it so much. I love markets that are like all a lot of healthy foods. Erewhon is like number one but it's so expensive i will know i have made it when i can shop at air one without like any question of or like thinking about the price because it's so expensive so i rarely ever go there it's like air one bristol farms whole foods trader joe's that's like expensive wise but i don't know i just got a calling to go to bristol farms today so that's where i am and i will show you guys everything that i get and explain why i get certain things over other things and then just wanted to let you know that i try to start in the produce section and get all the produce first sorry there's a tesla behind me and these doors just like are crazy to me it's like the future you're kidding <laughs> sorry okay yeah i try to get the produce first and then go to like the specialty kind of foods i got my list these two i usually get from whole foods so i might not get those two pills but that's my list i got my purse got my camera got my jacket because i get so cold in grocery stores always bring your reusable bags guys i don't want to see anybody getting plastic bags okay i'm nervous guys i'm nervous especially since i haven't filmed in a while i'm like extra nervous but it's okay i'm doing this for you i'm pretending like you're here with me i'm not alone ginger i like putting it in my oh we got sprinklers going off here i like putting it in my lemon water in the morning and also in my smoothies this is what it looks like the, this is turmeric it's more orange than this it's really good for digestion these avocados are $1.99 each and there's some over there for $3.99 each so best believe i'm getting these I'm gonna get some tomatoes. I was looking at these cucumbers and I was like feeling all of them and one of the guys that works here was like, if those aren't working out for you, I can go get some other ones. And I was like, okay, thank you. So he's gonna go get some newer ones for me. So that was really nice. It's kind of empty, which is nice. I'm getting kale. This is the kale that I like. It looks like this as opposed to this. I'm sure they're both fine, but I like how this one tastes better. It's usually darker. Also, I'm trying to not use the plastic bags. I want to get reusable, the reusable bags for the produce. I saw them at, whole, at the Whole Foods in Porter Ranch, 
I'm gonna see if they have them here. Ooh, they have the protein powder brand Owen that I like and the protein bars. I've never seen these before. I don't love protein bars because they have a lot of ingredients usually, but... Okay, so the ingredients aren't too bad on it. It has protein and then chocolate chips, chicory root fiber, natural flavors. I mean, it's pretty good for a protein bar. I'm not going to get one because I don't really need a protein bar, but I would recommend that one. Actually, I can't really recommend it yet because I don't know how it tastes. But oh, also, sorry for earlier, there was people behind me and I got really awkward, so I stopped talking. I love this place. There's so much stuff. I could just walk up and down the aisles all day long. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh no, it says I have no battery. This might die. But I just found my favorite, one of my favorite chocolates. And I haven't been able to find this flavor. But Maggie McDonald eats the chocolate, the mint one. And I haven't been able to find it. And she said this is a favorite, so I'm very excited. I see these reusable bags here. I think that they have the brand Stasher bags though. So I'm gonna hold on to these until I see those. These are $7.99, but I guess they're not dishwasher safe. It says hand wash. So, but this design is really cute. It's a little one and then a big one. So I might get those, but you might not. Also, I'm going back to the chocolate. I got the crunchy mint, but I'm also, oh, they do have the Sasha bags. <sighs> okay, wait, so many things going on at once. Okay, so the bags, I've shown you guys these before but there's silicone and you can, the stasher bag, I think these are better quality. Okay, yeah, you can you can put in the dishwasher, microwave, fridge, freezer, and oven, and the stove top. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get these. It's $2 more, but you can do more with it. Well, I already have that, that one. So I think I'm gonna get a small one like this. And then, well, I guess I'll put these back then. I'm all over the place. Also, my camera is in <laughs> my reusable bag charging in my cart because I'm extra. And then I'm gonna get this size, I think. Yeah. The reason I like this brand is because of the ingredients. This is the ingredient list. Cacao, coconut sugar, cocoa butter, and banana. Like, that's like one, two, three, four ingredients. And gluten, dairy, blah, 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 blah. It's just really healthy. Tastes really good. It's really good for your sweet tooth. And there's none of these bad things in it. I recommend it. It is a really good thing to have after dinner. It really, really craves your sweet tooth. This is a really good brand. If you're new to tea or if you don't really like tea, it's a very, um, like, relaxed taste. It's not really strong. The nighttime is really good. The cleanse and the three ginger is really good. The ginger is the, I can't think of the word, calmest or not harsh flavor. It's very, I really can't think of the word, but you know what I mean. If, I would try this if you don't really like tea a lot. Um, apparently this brand is really good too, but it's way stronger. Like it has a stronger flavor. So if you like tea already, you might want to try it this brand the lemon ginger i've been standing in front of the matchas for a good three minutes uh trying to pick one but i'm just gonna go with this one um i want to get matcha powder to make matcha lattes iced or hot whatever i'm feeling this has the caffeine information it's a little less than half of coffee caffeine if you're interested in that i'm gonna be making more matcha lattes so I needed some more matcha. Matcha is expensive, not gonna lie. It's $17.99, but... Bristol Farms home things always are so crazy to me. I love them. This is a dish cloth. You use it instead of paper towels. It's like, if you can see, it's like hard, but when it's wet, it's absorbent, I guess. And you can put it in the dish, in the machine, machine washable. What's it called? <laughs> the um, washing machine. You can put it in the washing machine. That's cool. I'm gonna try one. I will let you guys know how it is. Look at it, they have all these cute things because I literally, what is this, dish towel? I use so many paper towels and it's kind of ridiculous. So I'm gonna try these guys and let you know what I think. 
I'll get this one. It's kind of cute. I also am obsessed with their bowls and plates. They're just so cute and they always have the cutest little patterns. Brand of crackers, Mary's Gone, is so good. These are the best. This kind, I tried the sea salt one. It's bomb, bomb. I'm actually gonna get more of these. Should I try garlic rosemary? Oh yeah. Oh, I also need to get hummus because I'm gonna eat crackers with hummus. I'm getting gluten-free crackers. I'm getting gluten-free crackers because I'm trying it out. I'm not gonna be gluten-free, but I'm trying to eat less gluten. But if I'm out and about and there's bread, I'm gonna eat bread. This brand of brown rice pasta is really good. I've tried this one and the fettuccine one. But this is why I like coming to different grocery stores because Whole Foods and the other places I've been don't have the shelves or like this one. So I'm gonna get the shelves. Go for Rouse. It's so good. The ingredients are tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, crushed pepper, black pepper, and dried oregano. Um, oh, that's the hot one. Definitely not getting that. Uh, the marinara sauce is really good. So I'm probably gonna get that. I've also had the tomato basil, and that's good too. You know what? I'm gonna get the tomato basil because it's cheaper. I'm looking at the hummus right now and I was gonna tell you that I really like the one from Whole Foods but this is a Bristol Farms haul so I'm gonna get some from Bristol Farms. This is looking like the one I'm gonna get. I don't know the ingredients. Okay yeah so I'm gonna just get the original Cedars hummus. I don't love that it has that gargum in it but it'll have to do. I'll live. And I'll show you guys the one that I really love from Whole Foods when I do my Whole Foods video, so stay tuned for that. Very good things about Honey Mamas. Kenzie Burke loves it. I don't think I'm gonna get it today just because I am getting the Who chocolate, but if you want to get this brand, it's also a really, really good brand. There's really clean ingredients as well. So you can see honey, coconut, coconut oil, coffee, vanilla, pink salt, whatever. So that's another brand if you like any of these flavors. Also, where to go? Nelly's. I really like Nelly's. Um, Hail Mary is also really good. They have these bites and then they have these tarts. They're bomb. Bomb. And I approve of them. I just got some zucchini and spinach and I'm over here looking at the wraps and all these wraps have wheat and I am looking for brown rice wraps because all these have gluten in it and I don't think that they have any without gluten so I'm gonna go get these coconut wraps that I saw earlier and then these are the coconut wraps they also had um, cinnamon ones and turmeric ones, but oh my gosh, they have more hummus over here. Oh my gosh, hold on guys, I'm gonna check the ingredients. Not sure what happened there, but this brand is much better than the other brand. Look at the ingredients. Garbanzo beans, tahini, lemon juice, water, garlic, spices, and salt. There's no, none of that gargam, whatever. Sorry, Cedars, but you're have, gonna have to go back in there. Oh, and I've already talked about this brand. Not this brand. Ooh, they have different ones that I've never seen before. Ooh, let's see. This is why I like coming to other places. I've never seen this before, and I'm gonna get one of these because I've never seen these before, and I want to try them. I have a whole box of this one at home. I can carry these to the car because. I'm hashtag strong. Also, just wanted to quickly let you know that it was $132 for all that stuff. Sometimes I'm getting things that are more expensive, like the matcha was like 20 bucks, but obviously I'm not buying that every single time. So it was a one-time thing. And then like the reusable bags I don't buy every single time. So 
It was a little expensive, just being real with you guys, telling you how much it was, in case you were wondering. I am a bag lady everywhere I go. I have, you can't even see my other bag. There it is. Anyways, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing everything that I got from Bristol Farms. And stay tuned for the next video to see where I go next. It's always a fun time. I love grocery shopping. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.